So I was watching this Uno the Activist music video and I couldn't help but notice that there's a bending Lamborghini in the background. So after a few minutes of research, I figured out the VFX artist used Cinema 4D to do this effect. Now I'm pretty sure Max Novak already did a tutorial on how to do it in Cinema 4D, so I decided to do it just in After Effects. So the things you'll need will be an Element 3D and a Lamborghini OBJ. Element 3D, you can find it on their website, on the plugin, and the Lamborghini OBJ, you can Google Lamborghini OBJ or Lamborghini Cinema 4D dot C4D, and you can just download whichever one's free. So saying that, let's get on to the tutorial. Follow my Instagram. Starting off in Premiere Pro, you're gonna wanna select your clip that is gonna be usable for the 3D track. So shout out Easy Mac, uh, and this is gonna be my clip. We're probably gonna have the Lamborghini right here. Now. Before I like to import my clips into After Effects, I just like to copy it so it doesn't mess up the original clip. Right click the top clip and replace with After Effects composition. This should open up After Effects and your clip will open up right here. First thing now we need to do is track the clip. So make sure your clip is selected and go to the tracker tab. If the tracker tab is not here, go to a window tracker, it should open up. Click track camera. Now this is a 4K clip so it might take a while for me so I'm just gonna fast forward it until it's tracked. So my camera track is finished. It's not that great of a camera track but it's gonna have to do just for the sake of this tutorial. If you want a more detailed camera track with more points you can just click advanced here and check detailed analysis but that's gonna take more time. Now usually you know, when you click on camera track you want to pick a spot where there's a lot of points and you want the same uh you kind of i don't know how to say this you want the, well you want it to be the same plane as your object you're going to be putting in but since i don't have a lot of points in here i'm just going to create a camera and usually you can just get away with that without having to spend that extra detail so once i've created my camera the we can start on the lamborghini so on your timeline right here just right click new solid and just Press OK. Now in your effects and presets tab, search up element and then drag element onto your black solid and then go to scene setup. And then like I said before, you're gonna need a OBJ or Cinema 4D file. You can find those on Google and just type in whatever object you want, but obviously we're gonna be using Lamborghini. So once you have that and downloaded it, just click import and then go to wherever you saved it and open up the OBJ or Cinema 4D file, click OK. All of these are your textures, so if you don't want any textures, you can just uncheck that, but I'm just gonna keep that on there. And then now, once we press OK, we have the Lamborghini loaded with the gross texture, so I'm gonna take off the gray, and then <laughs> now we have a black Lamborghini. Okay, cool. A thing to note is on the group folder right here, where it says one, just make sure that's one. It should be like that on default, but just you never know. Just make sure that's one and we should be ready to continue. Click OK. And then now we have a Lamborghini in our video and it's 3D camera tracked. So I'm not going to composite this or anything or try to make it look nice. I'm just going to, you know, show you how to do it and then you guys can worry about that on yourself. Anyways, so. First thing we need to do is we need to move it towards the ground more. It's going to be a tiny Lamborghini and we're going to make it float up and bend like it, they did in the video. So it's on the ground but its nose is a little bit towards the bottom so we're going to change the world rotation and we're just going to make it move like this. And also we can't really see the bend so I'm just going to rotate it like that. So it's on the ground right now, a tiny Lamborghini. We're gonna make it float up in the sky and bend. So right here where it says world position, since we need to make it float up, we're gonna change the world position upwards. So I'm gonna keyframe the world position from the beginning of the timeline. And then right here is where I want it to finish levitating. And I only want it to move it up a little bit, just like that. So if you look at it, we have a Lamborghini floating. Now we need to add the bend, which is the thing you guys are most looking for. So like I said earlier, you need to make sure that one is checked. Go to group one right here, just on the drop down menu, open that up. On particle look, just click that, and on deform, open that. 
Now all of these deform your object, but we're going to be focusing on bend. But these other ones are pretty cool. You should, uh, you know, look into those. So open up bend and then just click on enable. Now, depending on the axis, we should be using the Z axis right here. So change that bend axis to Z. And then you just need to change the bend angle to however you want it. Now, that's not the way we want it to bend, right? We want it to bend upwards like they did in the video. This bend direction, just change that until it starts bending upward. Like that. And so now we have a bent Lamborghini levitating. But uh, we want it to bend while it's levitating up, right? We don't want it to start bending. So just go to the end of your levitation and keyframe your bends and then just go to the beginning and change those back to zero. So right, we could just change the bend angle back to zero. So if you look up, so if we go past now, the Lamborghini is bent, right? And that's basically it. Okay, so I just scaled this up so it looks more realistic, like an actual car instead of a tiny car. And we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to just bend it and make it levitate. So go back to particle look, uh, bend, enable the bend, make sure the bend axis is on Z. And the bend angle, you go to the end of where you want it to bend and how much you want to bend just change the bend angle like that and then keyframe the bent angle go to the end or go to the beginning sorry change that back to zero so the Lamborghini bends upwards and we can make it levitate by changing the world transform up a little bit like that so now we have a bending Lamborghini But for some reason, let me change this. So now we have a bending Lamborghini.